offensive it should have been it was not in my intent for it to be but it was her wording to say they need to be aware because of the person you are and that hello everyone welcome to this edition of Vara. i'm your host as always ken dixie as we talk about gospel singer kimber ribs barking outrage on comments she made to church gold about some un Stuff, some stuff that would, you know, went she went beyond, above and beyond, didn't think it was wrong comments to make. But first thing first, we join in the conversation using the hashtag viral Ill connect. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and scan. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. We talk about gospel singer Kim Burrell making outrageous claims during the church sermon that she called church goers ugly. And um, broke. Now, Kim Burrell been a central controversy as of late, but let's hear that viral video of what Kim Burrell had said. Hell yeah. You know, sometimes before we get friends, we have to do an interview. How long have you been broke? Okay. How many of your bills and your little cousins' names? <laughs> Are you living in a trailer home or a house? It's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. You know, life is different now. And, you know, we are at church. Thank God we're here. Those of us who walk in by faith without a mask and no vaccine. And so, we honor the Lord. God is good. I respect all of the men of God here. And respect you. Can y'all clap? I don't feel strange right about that. Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other. When y'all invite me to come to your church, I'm not as expensive as I seem. Um, and so I don't know. Maybe you got a little leftover from your PPP love. <laughs> Prayer, praise, and power. Yes. Amen. Isn't the Lord great? Amen. Amen. And so. You know, I, I like coming here because the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told you're just ugly? <laughs> no one likes to be told that, you know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes us. Oh, I saw the ugly too. I just wanted to let you know. So anyway, I'll get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. You all look great. Most of you have on a hat covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. I have a great personality. Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Kim Maria didn't hold back. She stood to her truth in the church. But a lot of people were saying that Kim Burrell judged too many people in the church, claiming that, that she don't know their situations, their responsibilities, and what goes on in their household. Well, Kim Burrell um, kind of went left triggering, but Kim Burrell wanted to clean it up and wanted to uh, issue an apology 
And she is video form of it right here. I mean it. I mean that. Not from the letter, from my heart. I released a letter two days ago. It did not convey right at all. And I must tell you this. It was from an attorney that asked me to do it because the latter part, y'all know I know, it was offensive. It should have been. It was not my intent for it to be, but it was her wording to say they need to be aware because of the person you are and that. I said, nah. My friends called me and said, no, there are still people who are hurt from the part of them that they love about you come back. That's not the only reason I came back, because I still said, come on, but they didn't feel my heart. I came back because I do love you. This ain't about dates. This ain't about keeping my career. This is about keeping the love real. I love you guys so much, and I'm really, truly sorry. I did not want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't plan on hurting you, and I pray that you will heal from this I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Wait and see. I do. You can see right here, Kimberell trying to issue an apology that she uh, announced that she was wrong and believed that everything was taken a misinterpretation. But Kimberell said what she said and done what she said in order to um, get that plaque and stuff. Well, um, we can see right here, Burrell beforehand issued this um, apology, posted saying that she was sorry and uh, she didn't mean to uh, cause harm. Many times you can cause harm and um, you can say that and be a wolf, a sheep in wolf clothing. Sometimes you have to stick, say your actions right then and there and not judge everybody because we don't know what people are going through at the end of the day. We don't know what their um, intent is, and we can't judge that, we can't say that, and stuff like that. Let's look back on what you people had to say about this incident, what Kim Burrell had sparked issue and sparked controversy with this. I'm um, getting on today to give a sincere apology to the community for what I said. I am very sorry. I know you can see my heart. And um, it's pure. Pure as gold, you know. And, uh, you know, when I wrote the letter, when my attorney wrote the letter, so I, when I paid my attorney to write the letter, we went through stages and stages and iterations of the letter that you all saw. So, Kim, what do you want this letter to read? You already know what I wanted to read. Uh, um, let's, let's let's start out with you know addressing the, the you know the situation, the problem. What well, do you have? The other letter from the last time I had to apologize. <laughs> um, and yeah, they, they still haven't got over that letter. Let me assist you with a nicer approach. Um, how about I'm sorry? But I'm not really. How about I'm sorry? And uh, I said, no, no. My audience knows me, and they know the Kim Grip that I am. Honey, don't worry about them, okay? <laughs> don't worry about them for right now. Listen to what I'm saying. Can I can I say something? Uh, Camera. Yes. I want I want to let y'all know this. I think it is very rude and disrespectful for y'all to be up here laughing like that because I I use my rent money and everything. And for y'all to be sitting up here disrespectful like that and laughing, that is so wrong. Okay. If I told the truth, I made my decision while you were singing. And I and, it, and the laughter was not toward you. Okay. You had the attention of the person who was talking to you. That's where your attention should have been. It was. And she told him where I've been stopped liking you since last year when you told me no, you weren't even listening. You know, Kiara, I love you, Donnie. I love you too. You are the, I love you. The reason why I came back is because so of the I want to get on and give my sincere apology to the people that I called ugly. I did not mean to call all of you ugly, even though there was just a few. 
but I did call a few people ugly and they took offense to it. Now, in my words, you know, my mother would always say, if the shoe fits, wear it. I did not mean for the shoe to fit everyone that day in service. But I am sorry. I am sincerely sorry. And if you will be so kind and see how pure my heart is, go buy my new album. Streaming everywhere on iTunes and, and on Spotify. Please forgive me. So the church folks are upset it once again at Kim Burrell. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with you. Kim Burrell really needs to start back hugging herself again. Because this right here is a mess. Got to choose up. Find you some value. You know, sometimes before we get friends, we have to do an interview. How long have you been broke? How many times have you changed your name on your light bill? How many of your bills in your little cousin's name? <laughs> Do you live in a trailer home or a house? You know, you understand. It's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. You know, life is different now. And, you know, we're at church. Thank God we're here. Those of us who walk in our faith without a mask and no vaccine. And so, we honor the Lord. God is good. I respect all of the men of God here and respect you. Can y'all clap so I don't feel strange right about now? Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other when y'all invite me to come to your church. I'm not as expensive as I say. Um, so I don't know. Maybe you got a little left over from your PPP love. Uh, prayer, praise, and power. You understand? Amen. Isn't the Lord great? Amen. Amen. And so, you know, I, I like coming here because the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told? You're just ugly. <laughs> No one likes to be told that, you know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just want to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. You all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. The cameraman is going straight to hell with gasoline draws on for moving that camera over to that lady in that hat. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. So, of course, Kim is receiving some backlash for these comments. And now she wants to backpedal and pussy pop out of it by saying that it was a joke. Now, people are reminding Kim that sometimes people try to play things as jokes that they really mean. And some people are saying that this is how church folks talk when they're by themselves. Now, if Kim's supposed to be held to a higher standard, then that would mean she wouldn't be sitting on her pedestal looking down on people. Because as the church folks say, God sit high and he look low, honey. And just because you are sitting high on your pedestal, that do not mean that he won't humble you real quick. While you're sitting there talking down on people who just happen to live in a trailer, those are the ones that are funding your lifestyle. Where do you think the church get that money from that they pay you to come and bless people with your voice? From the tithes and offerings. And it's a proven fact that they get more tithes and offerings from the people that live in trailers and drive pintos than those people that want to sit high on their pedestals and think that they're better than everyone else. People are reminding Kim that it's not her place to judge anyone. And if you don't want to get the vaccine, that's perfectly fine. But we all know that the black community has been hit worse by COVID. So here's the deal. People are trying to Kim's Kim's behavior saying that this is how church people talk when they are under the cloak of darkness. And that just might be why most people shy away from the church. Players, let me know what you're thinking. This was a bad moment for Kim. It's not the first one, and it probably won't be the last. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Double Team Over, reporter for the Black Threat News. Yeah, what's up?
and more importantly, the gift which God has given me in song. If anyone was offended, I can sincerely say I apologize. But that being said, the irony is that is that those who are criticizing my statement are displaying the very thing they have accused me of. However, it is not being humorous or in death. The image has been used in multiple books and false statements and narratives have been created. See, I would have loved it if she just doubled down. Listen, you're black, you're poor, you're ugly, you're nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, she said it was just humor. <laughs> Kevin Burrell said, I'm going to do a stand-up in church, and y'all going to get these jokes, damn it. Oh, my okay. goodness. Hey. Uh, you people are um, voicing your opinions on Kim Burrell, saying that she was wrong. It was out of line, out of place, and her saying that. In which it was, Kim Burrell, no better. She should be a woman of God and try to, um, you know, comfort people, you know, regardless of what their um, status is. We don't know what people go through on an everyday basis, um, internally and stuff like that. So Kim Burrell got to be treading a little lightly next time when she says, and I'm not trying to um, judge everybody and cast stones on everybody. Hopefully she'll learn from this and do better. Well, we talked about Kim Burrell dressing the issue in church by calling church going broke and ugly. We'll see what goes next for her. But um, anyway, we move on later. But um, thank you all for watching this edition of Viral. So we talk about Kim Burrell. I've been your host, Kendrick Dixon. So long. We'll see you next time on the edition.